I'm just wondering, like, are you in a relationship? Are you married? Yes, been together for 18 years. We will have our 13th wedding anniversary in January. Okay, and we okay. haven't had a fight in eight years, by the way. So, so, so I'm married. I think what you're prescribing is kind of incompatible with most people's lived experience, right? This is a classroom. Let's just say I was teaching quantum physics. Is that compatible with most people's desire to learn a specific topic? Are most people desiring to learn quantum physics? Are most people applying for classes in university that are about quantum physics? No, but the people who are interested in quantum no, physics so my, are. So my point is, this is a classroom. If you want to learn how to pick a functional, long-lasting relationship by following the example that I set, choosing somebody who loves you more than dysfunction, and then also choosing functional behaviors. Let me show you something. I'm so, familiar with psychology. I understand literature. So we are going to use logic. We awesome. are going to do observation before selection. We are going to choose, if you're a woman, you're going to choose a man. If you're a man, you're going to choose a woman or a partner. We're going to choose somebody who loves us more than dysfunction. Now, not all of us had good role models. So that's why I have these books as well to help you understand functional behaviors when it comes to taking responsibility for your own thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. If that's not what you want to learn, you don't need to be in this classroom. Well, it just seems odd to me to like create very rigid exclusionary categories, like no kissing. Okay, let me ask you this. Is uh, it odd uh, to you if a corporation doesn't want to give medical and dental benefits before three months because they don't want to waste money on yeah, people's society? Is that odd to you? Yeah, I'd say that that should be illegal, actually. If you work, okay, you should have so the there you go. So you are entitled to things you don't deserve is the stance you come Why from. Why don't I deserve dental care Why if would I'm working company, for a company? Good question. Why would a company give you medical and dental benefits if, if you're consistently combative with bosses and coworkers, if your work ethic is... But that's not what you said. Right. You well, said I'm asking months. you a question. Why should a company give you medical and dental benefits when your work ethic is poor and you disrupt the people around you and you don't come to work on time. Because we both signed the employment contract. No, no, no. no. So you're entitled to something you don't deserve because you're not a good fit for the company, right? So, so you're telling me that the company... No, no, no. I asked you a question. I don't want you to... I'm answering oh, it and you keep interrupting me when I answer. concise here. This is concise communication. You're okay. saying a company should reward you for being late, combative, and having poor work ethic. Is that what you're saying? Because you're entitled to their resources. You're entitled to legal rights. Reese, combative, and having poor work ethic. Is that what you're saying? If they sign the contract. Huh? So we're not signing a contract with you because okay. we're not giving you benefits you don't deserve. Well, it's the contractualization of love that I what disagree What contract? With. There's no contract to love. Well, what you're you're no, making no, a You don't understand. You don't make fact, a rule for us to follow. You're talking over me because you don't want to actually learn anything. You've asked me questions. You won't let me don't reply. understand. That's like key narcissism no and domination contract. of the conversation. There's no contract. Keep saying contract because you keep coming from an entitled place. You think you well, have. I don't think you're entitled to tell people deserve. they don't deserve benefits. Well, he, well, no, you know what? Who I'm going to let you talk. Go ahead and make your point. Let's, let's let him talk. You have to say you don't work let's hard enough. Therefore, you don't get them. Why would I listen to you? There's no reason for you to. Because well, then why should I? Why should I listen to you about relationships if you can't even understand an employment contract? Why should I listen to you about relationships when you don't even understand an employment contract? I thought you were already in a relationship. I am in a relationship, but if I'm going to listen to you about advice for them, if I'm going to give advice to like my children or my friends, nope. why would I ever recommend a book or advice you give when you don't even understand a basic employment contract? So this is a relationship. Like, I think that people that are entitled to benefits deserve them when they are legally entitled to it. Legally entitled to what they don't deserve because when you poor. sign contracts, there's consequences to that signature. So we're not signing a contract before knowledge and insight. You're it's trying to create a contract for love by saying no three months rules. It's bizarre, and well, it's anti-human. How anti-human? How long does it yeah, take? For because you? Well, if I if I talk to someone who kissed their wife two months into a relationship, I according mean, I, to your rules, I they wouldn't know. be. It wouldn't right. be allowed or permissible. It seems very uh, policing. It seems like what the Christians tried to do. Incorrect. This is not. We're going to create rigid rule sets with contracts and marriages and processes, so that I 
I get to decide how you love each other. And it just seems like you're a narcissist. Huh? False accusation. I know you're trying to call me an asshole, but I think that you're no, just no, no, no. projecting that onto me. Another false accusation. Do you want to know where this title came from? I don't know, ma'am. Do you want to know? I mean, it's just pseudo-intellectualism. That's what this is. That sounds like no. That's why you don't have a degree, and that's why you're not a clinician. I don't know why anyone should listen to you. False accusations. No desire to learn. No, let him talk. This is good. Yeah, I know I know that you can, like, try and turn this around, that oh, you are no. not being the oppressor here, no. but you are. Observation. You are talking. I'm observing. You've made... <laughs> Dude, the therapy speak is funny. Let them talk, ladies. You, you, what are your credentials? I'm curious. Do you have a BA, MA, PhD? What's going on here? No, I didn't purchase a piece of paper from a for-profit. It shows. It and shows. you know that the public universities in Canada are not always for-profit, right? It shows in my healthy relationship. It no, shows it, in the I, I don't know if you're healthy or in a relationship, but that's all right. That's what you haven't observed me. That's why you don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm observing a lot right now. Uh, you want to? No. <laughs> right now we are doing a lot that is true all right guys so if you go on a, if you go date a girl for two months and you kiss her it's not gonna work that's what this lady's telling no. you i don't know it seems fucking weird and narcissistic to center my moral valuations of relationships like this but usually it's a trauma response to someone who's had a very bad child absolutely not False so I, I hope you get over whatever it is that's bothering you and this trauma that's like put stress on your understanding of relationships you're not I empathize with so, you. Notice, ladies, the guys who don't like a no-kissing for three months dating rule will make false accusation. They don't want to do observation before selection. They don't want you to do observation. <laughs> he wants to cut me off again. So, notice that he came here making false accusations that you using logic and observation before selection makes you dysfunctional. He also made false accusations about my relationship, having spent zero time observing the interactions between my husband and I. Guys, selfish short-term thinkers are going to tell you, tell you, they're not here to learn. They're not here to understand. They're going to tell you who you are. So you need to instantly block and delete them. He said, if you kiss them after two months, yeah, if I told them I'm using a no kissing for three months dating rule, and they move in for a kiss after two months, the disrespect is why I will block and delete them because I told them my goals and plans and they didn't listen. Instead, they tried to encroach upon my physical body trying to take what I told them I wasn't offering up before three months because I will take a full three months of observation before selection. Note that this guy, this entitled guy who came up to chat said, I deserve medical and dental benefits even if I'm chronically late to work and combat with bosses and coworkers and have poor work ethic. So this entitled guy in a relationship is going to be disrespectful of your time. He's going to pick fights and arguments with you because he thrives on dysfunction. He's not going to pull his weight in the house, but this guy thinks he deserves your time, your attention, your presence, your kisses, your body, your exclusivity. He tried to tell us right here that the moment he stepped into our environment, he has a contract with us. We have to give him what he wants when he wants it because he's arrived. That level of entitlement is an instant block and delete. He made a false accusation about the title of my book. I said, would you like to know where this title came from? He didn't want to know because guys like this don't want to learn anything from you. They want to come into your life and control you. Notice how he didn't want to let me talk. He wanted to control the conversation. So I let him talk himself out because we are using him as a teaching tool. This is a tool. He helped us understand what happens when you let them talk. You will find out who is entitled and lazy and selfish and thinks you should give him everything he wants, even if he doesn't deserve it. The entitlement is what you need to get rid of. Because when you are in a relationship with an entitled person, you don't matter. All that matters is that you give them what they want, when they want it. And if you don't, what did he accuse me of being? A narcissist. Why? Because I don't want to get in a relationship with somebody that I complain about. I don't want to turn to my friends and go, he's such an asshole. He was late again. 
he didn't pull his weight again. He picked an unnecessary fight on my birthday just to make me miserable again, like a narcissist. The projection is immaculate, my ladies. Let them talk. Find out how dysfunctional they are and block and delete the wrong ones instead of complaining about them because you let them in their entitlement take your time and attention take your exclusivity we're not giving any of those benefits to the wrong people and then complaining about our decisions Slay! Slay! get rid of the wrong ones instead of kissing them before we know they're wrong for us so this is audiobook ebook paperback i have it in workbook as well you can get this on amazon in paperback the audiobook is available in the link in my bio 